Hi everyone, uh, today we're going through setting up and installing Windows Server 2022 Evaluation Edition on a virtual machine in Proxmox. So first off you'll need to go to the Evaluation Center and download an ISO of the Windows Server 2022. You'll have to fill out a heap of details to do that but you can do that and download it and then follow along. Once you've downloaded it, you need to upload it into Proxmox or your virtual machine. If you're doing it on a physical host, you need to burn that ISO to a USB using something like Rufus or whatnot. So once you've got your media ready, I'm just gonna run through. I'm going Windows Server, Microsoft Windows. There's the image, giving it 60 gigs of storage to cores four gig of memory and we've connected it to the network so we'll go finish let's get that up on console and we'll open it up then we will start it yes we do want to start give it a moment to do its thing you will probably be prompted to press a button to install from a cd or dvd so make sure you do that when you go through this, otherwise it's not gonna boot to the disk and then you won't be able to install. Okay, so once you get to this page, we're ready to select our language and our time and currency. I'm in Australia, so I'm gonna change that to Australia and our keyboard is US, so that's fine. Then we go next. Then it's gonna ask us to install. So we'll give it a minute to start the setup. Then we want to select which version. So the desktop experience, is the one with the GUI or your desktop experience. So we're just gonna go with that one today because we're just doing a bit of fun and we'll go for the data center version. We'll go next. It'll ask us to accept the terms and conditions. So it is an evaluation license. So just make sure you're doing the right thing with it. Then we want to go custom. So which install is install. We've got our drive there, so 60 gig, and go next. This next process will take a little bit. It'll just run through the installation, and once that's done, it's going to restart for us, and we'll be able to set up our administrator username and pa well, administrator password.
and it looks like we're all done so it's just going to restart for us automatically or we can click restart now Now that first time it turns on after installing it can take a little while, so don't stress here if it takes a few minutes. All right, so now we're ready to put in a password. So throw in a password there, something you remember, and it looks like it's all ready to go. Now you just need to use Alt, Control, Delete to get going from here because I'm using a virtual machine. I just need to press my extra button. And we can then log in. Now it's very similar looking to Windows Server 2019 in how it looks. We've got the standard start layout. Um, one of the noticeable different things is that we've got the Chromium based Edge browser on it. And we'll just run Winver. See, Windows Server 2022. And it's coming up with the version number 21H2. There you go. So we've installed that and run that. So that's something cool. Uh, check it out. Have a go yourself. There might be some further videos coming where you can look at all the other things you might be able to do with it. Thanks for watching. Hope that's been helpful. Bye.